I first got started as an artist when I was around maybe like seven years old after my mom and I immigrated from Canada to the US. And, and, and after that time, I developed a speech impediment where I stuttered a lot. So as a result, I would turn towards poetry and visual art as a way of reclaiming my voice and kind of creating a world where I could understand um, what's going on in front of me because I think that the way that the migration and being being like one of the few um, Chinese Americans in the town that I was growing up it it, it shaped me into um, into needing to use art as a way to create a sense of belonging for myself so I would always use art as a way to um, to to create a world where um, where I felt more free and 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 I felt more of an affirmation to to ex express myself than the world that was in in front of me. So this piece is called I Will Never Stop Reaching For You and it was originally commissioned by an organization called Culture Strike and it was a, a series where a lot of different immigrant artists were paired with a letter from from a, a migrant woman in a in a detention center and these were mostly um, Central American mothers writing letters to to their their kids who were um, on the uh, on the other side of the border. So in so the letter that this piece is based on was written by a mother from Honduras and how she was um, and just like there was just like a deep sense of longing to be reconnected with her her son and and so I chose to depict the the um, the mother and her her sister as um, as constellations in the sky and they were reaching across the border to rejoin with their um, with her her son in in the US and I felt like the longing that that was connecting them was like this thing that was more powerful than borders and it's something as old as like the earth and the stars itself so so I just imagined um, like all these immigrant families as constellations in the sky um, for, forever reaching for their loved ones. So I think without, without resilience, uh, I think communities of color, immigrant communities would not have been able to, to survive and be, be making the revolutionary contributions to to the world that we are making today and I think re resilience um, um, like ancestrally is in my my bones and my blood with my family um, being the first the first people um, ever in our family line to leave their homelands and and it, immigrate to the U.S. and my parents' generation, my grandparents' generation surviving the trauma of the cultural revolution. Um, I think there is a lot of resilience in my family. And when I look into um, my past and the work that I'm making now, a lot of it is in the form of like, um, of films in romantic dramas in in um, science fiction films speculative fiction and fantasy films and I think that through film I'm able to um, create a world where my um, Chinese identity and my um, and and my Chinese American identity and all the, the different parts of myself my queerness can can um, exist as a cohesive whole so I feel like in the world of my films I'm able to to embark with characters on a 
journey where they, where they become whole, where they find their ch chosen family and confront intergenerational trauma and heal. And, and these characters are able to find the resilience in themselves. So right now during this global pandemic, I'm d dedicating myself to to using cinema and screenwriting as a way to envision brighter futures um, for for what queer and immigrant communities of color can look like um, in, in the future when this pandemic is over and what kind of resilience has sustained us um, throughout d different generations. So the role of art has a really big importance in challenging times because it's what enables us to envision a, a, a future where where uh, marginalized communities can be free in terms of a lot of um, social justice movements um, like art and music and and storytelling has been like a really key part of of the the success of the movements. Like I, I think we need to see um, we, we need to see stories on the big screen of of um, queer communities loving each other and and of 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 um, immigrant communities. Um, uh, um, loving themselves, honoring their families, and and the the um with the abolition of borders and the prison system in order to create a world where where that can be the the reality. Because I think so much of social justice is tied toward our imaginations, and 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 I think the future is only going to be as big as our imaginations can be. So through art and song and film, I think we can um, create the futures that we dream of in inhabiting and then kind of create a map for how that can become, become our realities. As an artist, the message that I have for the world is we don't have to look further than ourselves for the answers to um to all of our problems and the the stories that we want to tell because sometimes um there's like this idea that we have to to like go to a far away place and like um and go on this huge adventure and be be a hero and discover something in order to tell a good story but i feel like that's such a um, colonial way of looking at things and and um, sometimes we don't have to go externally and discover something so sometimes all we have to do is look inside of ourselves and and realize that ancestrally we already have all the stories we already have a lot of the tools that we need to heal um and in and for a lot of communities of color there is a lot of um traditions and um and ways that that we have been able to be find our own resilience and and survive and find our own medicine whether it's like through like um, Chinese medicine or just um, traditions of meditation. I, I, I feel like like a, a lot of the answers um, is to look inwards and and like and like uh, understand that that cycles of intergenerational trauma can end within our bodies and within our lifetimes if we're able to to um, hold our own selves and our own experiences with compassion.